Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to explain the muscles of the body, in particular the adductor group. And if you stay around to the very end then I have a very special muscle memory download for you as well. Learning point number one, location and function. You need to know this for every single muscle that you work on is the location of it in your own words is fine and also the function. So what's its primary action that it causes? The primary joint action that's created by its concentric contraction. Oh, sounds a little bit wordy, but essentially for the adductor group, as they are, they are all based on the inside thigh. So when you're looking at yourself or an image, you're looking at the inside thigh is where all of the adductors are based, this great big chunk of muscle. Now there's actually five muscles in there, and all of them have a primary role of adduction of the hip. So that's the joint action that is their primary role. There are some other smaller joint actions as well that you can consider when you break down each and every single muscle, but the primary role is adduction of the hip. Now you can get adduction of the hip if you stand in a star jump position and you bring your legs in together. That's adduction of the hip because you're adding it into the midline. And then also if you, for example, put a football in between your two, your two knees and you pushed as if you want to squeeze that football, that is also adduction at the hip. And that is caused by the adductors. So all of these five adductors are responsible for that primary motion. Now I'd love to hear from you. So what are your favorite exercises that create this joint action of adduction at the hip? So what exercises do you do that work the adductor group? Just pop them in the comments box below. Learning point number two, naming the group. So you need to know each and every one of the muscles within the adductor group, and there are five of them. The first three all start with the word adductor, and these all originate on the pelvis and go down to the femur. So these are the adductor magnus, which is the bigger one, adductor longus, which as the name suggests is nice and long, and adductor brevis, which is a slightly shorter of them, but they make up the main bulk, the main chunk of that inner thigh muscle. So those three all originate up in the pelvis and they go down to the femur at varying different levels. Then you have two more. One is the pectineus. Now this is a tiny, think of pectiny, tiny muscle that is responsible for adduction, but that little tiny muscle is the fourth of the adductor group. And then the fifth is the gracilis. Now this one is a little bit different because it goes all the way down to the tibia, which is obviously the other side of the knee. So it looks a little bit different to all the other muscles in the adductor group. It's long and thin, but it, it crosses two joints, both the hip and the knee, and it inserts down onto the tibia. So that's those five muscles that you need to know as part of the adductor group. Memory hack. As a really good memory hack, it's good to have a visual around the muscles that you're trying to learn and something that you can then tie all together so that when you get that question that asks you about which of the following is part of the adductor group, you have a story or a analogy that can help tie it together. Now for this, I use the adductor kingdom. So I want you to imagine a fairy tale kingdom, if you like, but in this kingdom, there is a king, a queen, a prince, a princess, and there's also a jester. Um, so the king is gonna be the adductor magnus. It's the largest one. It has the most amount of a role to play in that adduction movement. The queen is second, that's the longest, long, think, uh, long and elegant but it's also got a huge role to play. Then the brevis, we're gonna pretend that's the prince, for example, got a huge role to play, but it is just a small role compared to that of the queen and the king. Then you've got the other two, which are pectineus, tiny little role that it plays, and it is small and petite, so think of that as being the princess, maybe like a young princess. And then you've got the gracilis, looks totally different, kind of crosses, crosses two joints, and it kind of looks a little bit out of place. So we're gonna call that the jester. So you have these five different characters you can kind of imagine and link in as part of the memory hack to help remember the adductor group ready for your exam. I've prepared a muscle memory cheat sheet for you. So if you found this video useful, then definitely click the link that is with this video so you can download that cheat sheet and it will show you 
all of the groups of muscles that you need to know ready for your level three anatomy and physiology exam. So all you need to do is click the link that is with this video. Remember to pop a comment in the comments box about your favorite adductor exercise. And it'd be interesting to see all the different types of exercises that you can all come up with together. If you've liked this video, make sure you hit the little like button and subscribe to our channel as well as sharing it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.